Right, everyone, welcome. I'm going to show you step by step how you can get a DR92 backlink for free, just like the one you see here on screen, DR92. Step by step, pointing to your site, 100% free. Now, granted, these backlinks will also have some traffic and we will also rank for some keywords. We will talk about that later on because, again, the ideal backlink is one that comes from a site with powerful metrics and also that's relevant and has some traffic, okay? Now, these values are quite low right here. I'm working on getting these values high, but again, the focus of this tutorial is to show you how to get a backlink like this. Just know that the backlink and the site that it comes from will also rank on Google, which is a win-win. So, What's the site this uh, backlink comes from? It is from webflow.com. And if you have been on the internet lately, you know what Webflow is. Essentially, it is a website builder platform, just like Wix, uh, WordPress, like uh, Squarespace. There's a bunch of them, right? Webflow is just one that allows you to do a bit more because it is sort of low code, okay? Now, here's how the backlink look like. I'm just gonna open it right here. It's this one right here. And as you can see, it is a link on their marketplace, on their app store. Now, I wanna cover how why I'm doing this right here and how you can apply this to your own business to any business you want. Because you might think this is only applies to certain businesses, but it does not, right? And then the link, if you just scroll through this, the link is right here. And there is a default link linking to my site, okay? Now, this of course is a link linking to my SaaS, right? So Webflow has this marketplace where you can, just like WordPress, right? Where you can install plugins, right? To give extra function functionality to your site. Uh, in Webflow, you can install all these apps. So an app that allows your site to have, for example, um, more data, uh, to connect web, uh, HubSpot, uh, web apps that lets you, for example, uh, increase the site speed, right? Add some custom things. Essentially, these are basically plugins to a Webflow site, right? And what we've done is we uploaded our own plugin, right, to their app marketplace. And what they do when you do so, right, they give you a dedicated page with images, your brand name, a description of what your plugin does, and also a link to your site. And that's basically the first step of it is what it is and how we're doing it. Essentially, it is a link on a plugin store. Now, the reason why this is valuable, and honestly, even more valuable than the link juice itself, because of course the backlink is also always valuable because it's gonna help us rank our site higher on Google, but also at the end of the day, sorry, this is all about making money, right? And what we're doing here is we're positioning our software in this uh, marketplace for this, uh, for this, uh, for Webflow, right? And people can go, can go through here and install, right, this plugin onto their site and eventually buy our software that plugs in to their Webflow site. Hopefully this is making sense. Now you might be thinking, oh, yeah, this is great, but I don't have a SaaS company. I don't have a company that I can just add here as a plugin. Yes, you do. And there's a ton of examples and you can go here to Marketplace and click Apps to see. Here's, for example, an example of uh, a, just a graphics plugin, right? For example, let's say you have a, a marketing or design agency, right? You just build an app, right? For example, in this case, for illustrations, design icons, right? And add it to the Webflow Marketplace, right? And then you give a, they give you a link back to your site. Okay, it doesn't need to be a SaaS, right? It doesn't need to be a software as a service product, right? It can be something else as long as you can package it in a way that it fits the marketplace app plugin type uh, uh, vibe, right? And of course, <clears throat> excuse me, adds value to the users because that's the only way you're going to be placing the plugin here. Again, think about it as a um, WordPress plugin, okay? Now, I want to also show you how you can, with ChatGPT and by leveraging AI, um, think about what your business is, how you sell, and, ha and have ChatGPT help you convert the idea into a type of plugin you can upload to the store, but more on that uh, later on, okay? Now, I wanna show you a couple more examples right here. Uh, for example, let's say this one right here, live chat, right? This is just a plugin for live chat uh, into uh, the website site. Again, it has a link here to their site. Uh, again, the value here is that, yes, you get a backlink, but also get people to install and use your product, okay? That's the biggest value here because you're leveraging the traffic that comes in from Webflow's marketplace, right? Because they actually get quite a bit of traffic here, okay? So a lot of people that are using Webflow, and a lot of them do, right? When they need a plugin to do something else, again, just like in WordPress, right? They go to the plugin store. And if you're able to list yourself here, not only do you get a backlink, but you get a user to use your product. And again, going over this example, for example, right here, let's say, for example, you own a web design agency, right? You have an agency, right? You have monthly recurring clients that pay you money every single month for you to do um, web design, UI, UX, maybe SEO, maybe digital marketing, maybe even ads, right? You have a marketing agency, right? What you can do to get in even more traffic is try to build an app, for example, for illustrations, right? Or 
for photos or for icons, right? Build this app, right? And then place it on the marketplace, just like these guys are doing right here. And this app and people using and installing this, this free app, can be even free, can be a funnel to your main business, which is web design. Because again, Think about it. Someone using Webflow, right? Someone is using Webflow to build their build their company site, right? Uh, they want some icons. They want some. They want the ability to customize the site even further, right? They go on the App Store or the, mar the marketplace. They find your app. They see they like your app. They install it. 100% for free. You help them build out. Their, you help them uh, make their site look better. And then you can now reach out to them, saying, "Listen, I've just noticed you installed my app. Your site is looking great." We offer all these services. We can revamp your site. Uh, like we can do the UI UX design for you. We can even do SEO marketing. And then you upsell them on that. And you use this as an entry offer to your main service. Hopefully this is making sense. Hopefully it's not too much, of a, too much of a stretch, but this actually works, right? And you can do this, okay? And honestly, you don't even need ChatGPT because the analogy I just gave you, you can try and apply it to your own business. Even for example, if you're a marketing agency that does, I don't know, just literally just, TikTok ads or Facebook ads, I don't know. You come up with a plugin that people can add to their site, for example, for embedding TikTok feeds into their into their uh, website or to track some sales, whatever. So a type of app that actually brings value to what they're trying to do. And then you upsell them on your service. Meanwhile, you're building an email list and you're having people install your app and coming into your business, right? Hopefully this is all making sense. Hopefully this is not too far of a stretch. And again, if you need ideas, just go to the marketplace, click app, app story and see every single thing that's on here. And don't just look at the service level. Don't just look at what the app does. Look at what it can do on the back end. Look at what you can do. If you can have an app here, if you can, get, you can get people to install it, what you can do on the back end, making money with it. Don't try to charge for the app up front. Try to make the money on the back end because you don't need to charge up front because your goal here should be just getting the backlink and then you make money on the back end, okay? Now, before I go in into actually how to develop these apps, I wanna show you that the site does index in Google. It is indexed in Google and it does rank. Now, it's quite a new backlink. That's why it is not ranking yet. Uh, two in traffic, one keyword, but because they give you like a proper, proper, let me just type it in here, a proper place to, with an H1, H2, images, uh, a place where you can add copyright. You can, of course, SEO optimize this to rank on Google. And because it is directly on their domain, webflow.com, which is an insanely, insanely powerful domain, right? It will rank like clockwork, right? It's sort of like Parasite SEO, right? Again, it's sort of like as if you were doing it with a LinkedIn or Medium, right? But you're doing it with Webflow's domain, which is insanely powerful. So if you're able to optimize your listing, which by the way, ours isn't just yet, but if you're able to optimize your listing for certain keywords, you can easily make this rank on Google as a parasite SEO opportunity. So there's again a bunch of opportunities opportunities sorry right here. One first one is the power of the domain. Second one is the traffic that it gets from Google because this will rank on Google and also from the marketplace because again a lot of people use Webflow, right? And they're looking for apps and eventually they will find your app and install it just like if it were for example a WordPress plugin. And so honestly this is a no brainer. Now I think the hard part here is trying to figure out how you as your business and what you sell can convert this into something that fits here on the app marketplace. And then of course, replicate this into the Shopify marketplace because there's one as well and the WordPress uh, marketplace, app marketplace, okay? That's, I think, the hardest part. Now, how do you find a developer? I mean, honestly, that should be, and I know I said it would be hard, but that should be the easiest part. Go on Upwork, go on, go on Fiverr, go on these solid marketplaces and just create a job post and say, uh, this is what we did, by the way. <laughs> well, hey, we're looking for to develop an app for this X, Y, Z. We're looking for a developer that can do it in um, two or three weeks. Who can do it? We filtered by uh, top talent, charging upwards of $50 an hour, and we just find a guy and we, he just did it for us. So it isn't really that hard. That, that outsourcing to someone else should be the easiest part. I think, honestly, the hardest part is to get the idea nailed down. And hopefully this video gives you like some... Um, uh, guidance and in some insights, some gold nuggets on how you can do this as well. Because honestly, it's not something that a lot of people are doing. And again, you benefit one from backlink; it is super powerful. Two from the um, from it ranking on Google, so traffic from the link ranking on Google. Uh, third, traffic from it being in the App Store uh, marketplace. And third, you get clients for your business because if they install your app, they enter your ecosystem and eventually can become clients in the future, right? And note that I'm not just saying this out my ass. This is the reality of exactly what I did, and what we're doing and how we're acquiring clients too. So, I mean, if I'm doing it, you can do it too. I am no smarter than you. I am no 
I don't more intelligent, so I mean, you can do it. So yeah, that's basically it. If you like this video, if you want more of these backlink sort of weird tutorial style videos, let me know down in the comments because I basically record videos on what you guys want to see. So if you want more of these, let me know. Even if it's just a comment saying yes, I'll, uh, I'll record more. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I guess if you watch this far, and you are interested in, in ranking your site, interested in SEO, interested in link building, interested in all these features right here, uh, go to this site, tryjournalist.com, I'll leave a link down below the description. Open this chat support bubble and say, guys, listen, I came from this YouTube video, copy the video URL, uh, paste it in here and say, listen, I want a coupon code because I've watched this far and the guys will give you a coupon code. And this does AI news writing, AI SEO writing. It automatically does um, internal linking, external linking, uh, auto blogging, does a bunch of stuff. I, wanna try, I don't wanna try to sell you on this. Again, my goal was just to show you how to build backlinks. But again, if you've watched this far, I think you deserve a coupon. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.